hey guys welcome back to my channel it's the girl mills and i'm back with another video this video is about factors you need to consider when you want to move to another country especially as a family if you're a single person i know it's going to be easy for you to withstand certain conditions but as a family there's a whole lot of it that you need to consider i'm just going to list a few of them and talk about them detailly in this video this is not only about brazil but different countries as a whole if you want to move to another country maybe permanently or temporarily these are certain factors that you need to consider so the first thing that I want to talk about is the vision what is your objective what is your motive what is your aim what is your goal what is your vision of moving to another country I want to talk about this in a little bit not everybody will love to move abroad okay that's what some people fail to understand and that's why you see many people in other countries or maybe abroad feel that they can talk less about one country to uplift another country no it doesn't work like that not everybody has the same vision there are people there in africa that are making it big time there are people there in africa that don't want to move abroad permanently there are people there that they have more than even people who feel like they are abroad meanwhile abroad there are many people also make it big time the most important thing is your objective everybody has an objective everybody has a goal am i moving abroad because i want to go there permanently am i moving abroad because i want to stay there temporarily am i moving abroad because i want to just go have another experience of culture i do i want to move abroad because i want to make the other country my second home do i want to move abroad because i want to go make more income some other people level it greener pasture and so on let me tell you something. Some people have that mentality that Africa or African countries, because they are third world countries, so their people don't do well. Everybody in Africa is poor. No, their people who are making it big time in Africa tell you. As you are migrating from Africa to all these other countries, European countries, oceanic countries, the Americas, it is the same thing that you also see the Americas or Europeans and all these people moving to other countries that are being labeled third world countries. Why? Because every Everybody has their goal, everybody has a vision, everybody has the objective. I don't just want to go to another country because I'm seeing that, okay, A and B are moving to the other country. Every country in this world have their ups and downs, their challenges you face. Another person might move to Asia and make it big time. Another person will move to Africa and make it big time. Another person will move to Americas and make it big time. Just like in Brazil here, I've gotten some comments from Brazilians telling me that Brazilians are struggling to move maybe to other countries like the Americas. Meanwhile, we Africans, we're struggling to move to Brazil. And I gave a good reply. Everybody has their objective. At the end of the day, it is nobody's fault where they were born, right? All of us were born in different places. Everybody has a purpose on earth and you need to find a purpose and everybody wants to strive towards success right at the end of the day that's what all of us want to be we want to be successful that's the first thing you should have a vision especially if you have a family you're not thinking only about yourself you should be thinking about if i'm moving what happens to my family the next thing you want to think about is make a plan you need to come out with a plan especially as a family i'm telling you this most of the things that i've achieved now in my life or i've completed now in my life was planned many many years back you need to write down a plan of what you want by this time i'm going to be here by this time i'm going to be here by this time i'm going to move here by this time i'm going to be in brazil after two years i'm going to be here after three years i'm going to be here and so on if you are a family do it as a family before you want to write down your plan there's certain things or certain factors that you need to take into consideration you want to make sure that that country which you're moving to you're going to have more benefits than where you're from you need to make a research the truth is that when you want to move to a country right it's good to get experiences from many different people so if you go online maybe you just watch maybe 10 minutes maybe five minutes of somebody's video talking about how good brazil is and so on you also need to get the other side of it right most of the times the videos that we put up are videos that will really portray a country to be that beautiful right to be so beautiful although maybe in the news or other places that you know you have different 
narratives of third world countries and countries that they have been classified on the third world countries like i said to me brazil is not a third world country from what i've experienced you don't want to look at only the good sides you want to look at also the bad sides and compare both of them don't only watch 10 minute video a 15 minute video and just get excited about oh i want to move to brazil with my family i want to move to uk with my family i want to move to europe i want to move to america so i want to move to asia with my family try to do research sure we have google we have other search engines we have other different platforms we have many social media platforms you want to search go online to google search this health system in this education in this that in that you have like a lot of things that you can do research from it's very important get to know both sides get to know many experiences from other people there are forums online living in brazil as a foreigner forum on google search all those kind of things platforms where you can have groups and so on the next thing you need to take into consideration and this is the most important thing when you want to move to another country be it temporarily or permanently is the budget you need to focus on your budget to make sure that you have enough budget that can carry you for a long period of time maybe six months minimum to a year such that if you move to this country maybe temporarily or you want to move permanently it can take you for that time before you become stable all right so budget is very important and how do you calculate the budget first you need to consider many things in that country assess them get the average amount be used in each of the sectors put them together if you're a family of four maybe you want to multiply by four if it's a family of two maybe you want to multiply by two and so on first thing you want to think about is a j the job opportunities okay or opportunities to make income when you want to move to a country because if you're moving you will be spending and so you should also look for ways that you can have income that is coming in so you want to research the job opportunities in this country you want to research the ones that are very common and see if you can be able to do these job opportunities if the country has opening for you as a temporary resident or as a permanent resident to open businesses if you're somebody who already has your income back home or from where you're coming from you already have your income or maybe you're working online or you're working remotely then you also have to take that into consideration if you want to move to another country what are the job opportunities what is a minimum salary how is the salary in that country how does it operate or business opportunities if you want to do business what kind of business what is the outlook what do you want to focus on the very very important what kind of business will give me regular income you also want to check the standard of living right how much is accommodation how much is transportation how much is feeding these three things are very very important when it comes to accommodation you also have to look for a place where you feel is safe okay safety is also something that's very important especially if you have a family you want to make sure that your children are safe you are also safe as well so if you're coming to brazil you want to look for maybe cities or you want to look for places in cities that are safe or let's talk about transportation how is the transportation system how does it operate okay you also want to take that into consideration the food how is the cost of food and everything the next thing that i want to talk about is the language this is also very very important and that's why you see many people from africa are trying to migrate to countries that will speak english many people want to move to uk canada australia and all those places that speak english because they already know themselves also need to take that into consideration if you know that it is very easy for you to learn a language fine and good if you know that as a family you can easily adapt to a language fine and good like you want to check about the language especially if you have kids there are some children that is hard for them to adapt especially when it comes to languages right so you also want to take that into consideration will my child be able to adapt to this particular language that will take me to the next thing which is education you need to also check on the education if my child is moving here how is the educational system in brazil will my child be able to cope at the bilingual schools would they be able to go to bilingual education or would they be able to just integrate into the portuguese system that's a more reason why many families are moving to english-speaking countries because they just want that easy adaptability we want to check the educational system is it free 
do you have to pay there's some private schools in brazil that you pay monthly you must not pay annually will you be able to pay how many children do you have how much with the fees course and so on you just want to find out also want to look at health system healthcare system is also very important right because health is something that we need to take care of our health okay you want to also check on the healthcare system brazil has very very good healthcare system the public healthcare system is free when you follow their SUS system. The only difference with the public and the private healthcare system is the wait times. A very, very important thing that you want to take into consideration is your migratory status. All right, it's very, very important. Okay, first, do I want to move there temporarily? Do I want to move there permanently? If I want to move there permanently, how do I do it? What are the different routes that I'm going to use to end up there? Brazil is very easy and very straightforward, right? And that is my main reason why I moved to Brazil. The migratory system is very easy. If you follow the requirements and you do the, the right thing, you have your right stay and you follow the right procedures, you're going to end up making Brazil a second home. It's very easy and straightforward. And that is the best thing that everybody wants. If you're moving abroad, everybody is focusing on getting a stay or making the country a second home. You don't want to move to the country and work there for five years and then every year they keep renewing your visa every year they keep renewing your visa and that is what makes brazil very unique many many different routes that you can get into permanent residence like many people ask you cannot convert a brazil tourist visa to a work visa so you need to come in correctly follow the procedures follow the laws and you end up being a brazilian in a short period of time that is the most important thing everybody abroad wants to have you want to have a permanent resident in the country you want to end up making the country your second home that's why you're spending many many years in that country so all these things all these factors you really need to take them into consideration before moving to another country or before moving into brazil don't just get excited maybe by somebody's video or somebody's experience experience and you just want to follow crowd sit down make a plan make your budget and plan all of this coming to brazil at least you should have budget that can last you for six months some other people leave from other countries they already have their businesses back home they already have their source of income back home there's some people who are working remotely that they can move to any country and still work remotely fine and good anybody who's watching this before you want to move to brazil especially if you're moving to brazil as a family let me just go straight to the point we call it greener pasture that is the slang you're coming for greener pasture and you feel that you can come to brazil and make a lot of income that can build your houses back home and do all these many many things in a short period of time truth be told it's almost impossible i know people do it or people can do it but only very few you can come here work raise money do your other businesses that will strive fine and good make brazil a second home good have a good earning job and live your life have little savings fine and good it's possible that can happen you can save money you can open your business the business do well right depending on the niche like i told you but if you're coming to brazil in particular that you're coming to make so much money to build back home or to do things back home that is not brazil for you at the end of the day brazil is a very beautiful country if you're thinking to come to brazil anytime any day i'll encourage you if you want to make brazil your second home i'll encourage you go for it you can make it in your comfort zone if brazil is your comfort zone then you can make it in brazil if africa is your comfort zone then you can make it in africa if asia is your comfort zone then you can make it in asia if americas is your comfort zone then you can make it in americas if um, the oceanic is your comfort zone then you can make it in the oceanic if europe is your comfort zone then you can make it in europe right if you want to move to any country go for it just have a plan have a vision and everything will be accomplished if you find the video interesting make sure you like share subscribe and you hit the notification bell so that you get updated each time i upload a video in that same light ciao